Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Mincy, and today we are going to be going over the TBC Classic Phase 5 investments. What are the best items I should we should buy now and also sell now? Now, this video is meant to help you prepare for Sunwell and also start getting a decent profit that can lead you into Wrath of the Lich King. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. If the video helped you out in any way, give it a like. And if you'd like to share this information with some of your guildmates, feel free to share the video as well. So, in Phase 5, there will be a lot of new items that you'll be able to craft with different professions. A lot of these items will be your best in slot, and generally are going to also be very expensive to craft. Right now, a lot of the materials to craft are not that expensive. But as we get closer to Phase 5, and with the release of Phase 5, the price will for sure increase. Now let's get straight into the classic Phase 5 preparation investments, covering the best items to buy and sell before Phase 5 and Sunwell. So first off, let's start with the Shadowcloth, Spellcloth, and Primal Mooncloth. All the cloth gear that you can get from the recipes in Sunwell Plateau will require either Shadowcloth, Spellcloth, or Primal Mooncloth. The price of these materials aren't that expensive right now simply because in Phase 4 we don't need any of these items. In Phase 5, all these materials will once again become useful and therefore the price should very much increase. So I think that is something that you should invest now or maybe even start really working on uh, picking back up all your uh, cooldowns for tailoring. And if you drop tailoring, this is kind of unfortunate because it is there is a lot of really good pieces. Like for example, Warlock, the Sunfire Robe, it's Biss. It is absolutely bis, and it costs, I believe, 12 Shadow Cloth and 12 Spell Cloth, as well as two Primal Nethers as well. And as we're getting into that, the next piece is Primals. In order to craft different cloth, you also need the Primals, and Primals will be needed to craft the different epic items. So because of this, the Primal price should probably go up, and therefore is going to be a good investment now, if anything. Or if you have some items, I would save them personally. So the next item I have that should be going up here in the near future, if it already hasn't started to go up, is Corium Bar and Corium Ores. In Sunwell, you will need to loot the steady, the study of advanced smelting. This teaches the hardened Corium recipe. The hardened Corium is new material that you'll need for some of the epic items that you can craft from Sunwell. Therefore, you can prepare to buy Corium Bars and Ores. They're relatively cheap right now because people don't need them, but in Phase 5, this will change. Also, I will say that Corium Bars and Corium Ores are used for repair bots. A lot of people don't realize this, but with progression comes wiping. With wiping comes durability loss. Something to keep in mind is Corium Power Cores are used in repair bots. I could see the use for these being way more prominent than people expect. Therefore, the price will go up. Next up, I have two other pieces, the Haste Potion and Destruction Potions. With content getting harder, more than likely people will want to, if not anything want, need to use these potions. These potions are great for parsing, absolutely great for parsing, but for progression, they are a must in my mind. Something that's going to happen is, I've seen this already, the price of Haste Potions have gone through the roof as a melee character. I've been playing a rogue. And getting into raids, if you don't have haste potions, as of right now, they like to bench you or they like to kind of give you the cold shoulder, unfortunately. Um, but two materials that you could also use to pick up this, if you have the haste potion to make a little bit of money, is going to be the terracone and the nether bloom. So if you're an alchemist, it might be a good investment to buy those right now and convert them into haste potions for later on. And same thing with the destruction potion. If you have the recipe, it might be a good idea to buy the herbs necessary to craft a destruction potion. As I was talking about the difficulty of raid and parsing, let's be real, scroll of strength and scroll of agilities will go up. They've always kind of had an uptick. They are the two most profitable items that are scrolls. The price of these are simply just gonna keep going up in phase five. They will also be needed, especially for people who like to glue a little bit of more DPS to make sure they can kill the encounter. Next up, we have the Nether Vortex. Now, Nether Vortex in Phase 5 Alchemists will be able to craft four new trinkets. You will, however, need to be exalted with the Shattered Sun. But all these require all these trinkets require Nether Vortex. So if you have these, you might just want to hold on to them for Phase 5 or potentially sell them in Phase 5 if you are not an Alchemist and have no need for these. 
The new trinkets will also require different primals. In the same case with a lot of new craftable items from Sunwell, as I said earlier. So, I can expect primals to see a bit of a price increase. So, I would definitely recommend holding those currently as well. So, we talked about things that you should hold on to to potentially sell for Phase 5. We're going to be talking about things that you should get rid of right now, potentially. And that is going to be Large Prismatic Shards and Epic Gems. The reason why we want to get rid of our Large Prismatic Shards is we have the Void Shatter, which Void Shatter tears the Void Crystal into two Large Prismatic Shards. So, I could say, I could guesstimate that the price could go down about 50%. From what the current state is on Fairlina, for example, they are like 20 gold a piece and they've actually been down ticking already. Um, so I could see them becoming 10 gold a piece, whereas the crystals themselves, void crystals, are like 7 to 8 gold and they've been slowly climbing up. So it might be a good idea for you actually to buy some void crystals if you're an enchanter to shatter them because you'll be able to make a little bit of gold potentially, but it's still going to have, and obviously you don't have to pay for the auction house price to put them up because it's an enchanting material but i can see the large prismatic shards taking a very large dip so if you have a, a surplus or if you've been doing dungeon spamming or selling your tank runs for unneeded res blues i would definitely suggest getting rid of them now and the epic gems the reason why i would say get rid of the epic gems potentially if you are not a jewel crafter i will tell you what i mean by that if you are not a jewel crafter i would definitely recommend getting rid of the regular uncut gems because in phase five you can buy the badges or you you can buy epic gems from badges any of the gems 15 badges of justice each but if you are a jewel crafter i would suggest keeping your epic gems slash buying epic gems as an investment to cut gems for the new gear people will be getting and need therefore this is kind of like a not jewel crafter sell now jewel crafter keep for a few weeks then sell the raw gems potentially uh, an item like the haste gem is going to be very expensive i could see throughout the almost the length of phase five but that is rep locked behind honor as well and that is all for today i hope uh this video helped you out made you a little bit of money so you can prep for Wrath of the Lich King. I'm very excited for Wrath of the Lich King. And I hope you are too. I know no Dungeon Finder is a, a down bringer for a lot of people. But at the end of the day, it's exciting that we are getting the new version of the game. And we're continuing through the expansions and getting to relive the nostalgia. Like I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. It helps me out loads. I'm such a small creator. And with that, I will see you on the next one.